is dawn we're just out and about um i am here at dollywood today and um i know uh there's a lot of people that might not know it but they actually have church service um an actual church service in their park at um 11 30 during the regular season and i think it's like 4 or 4 30 during the christmas season so i'm going to check this out today I'm going to share just a little bit of it with you this is the first time that we've actually been here to, and able to enjoy the church service um at dollywood so show you a little bit of it and while i do that you guys be sure to like comment and subscribe and follow us on facebook instagram and twitter i forgot to mention one thing y'all they used to do the church service inside but um after opening back up after the um issue then they've been doing the church service outside one other thing i like about it even if that's out of inside is you can come to dollywood and not miss your church service if you like going to church that's exactly that's so, right hey, you know dollywood's big on this but they don't shove it down your throat but it is an option i think that's awesome who's been to a dollywood church service oh. a few more that's good all right uh if you've just arrived or actually i haven't even said it yet this morning so if you have not taken advantage of this, uh, I encourage you to, to use your smartphone or your mobile device, right? You scan this funny looking barcode, it's called a QR code. Feel free to step up here, capture that barcode. Uh, you'll have the, the scriptures, the songs that we'll be singing that would be helpful. And, uh, and that would be uh, to your advantage, because we'd love to hear you sing. Some of you came, I know it's Sunday, and so you said, I'm going to chapel at Dollywood. I believe God's brought you here, right? We come to this unique place called Dollywood. It's a theme park, and there's so much to do. We've got world-class shows. We've got world-class entertainment. We've got uh, world-class food. Uh, and then uh, we got uh, the rides, right? we we got the friendliest people. And in all of that... I believe in those expressions we find God with us. It's pretty exciting to think that you can come to a place like this and you can encounter God in, in, in those moments when when you least expect it. Right? So I think as I want us to look at what, what this time means as we gather together. Uh, we're here to worship, right? You come to church. Some of you have been here, others of you, uh, this may be your first time. So I want us to kind of think about uh, He's, we have all these expectations. I'm going to church, but then you tell your friends, like, I went to church in a theme park, and they go, what, what is that like? Right? What, what does that mean? What, what is, what is, so I think there's a few things for us to consider as we look at what does it mean to come together as the community of faith, as the people of God, and we come together and we have church. We worship together. The time to, to think through what's it mean to be the body of Christ and, and to worship with strange people. Look around. There's some strange people. And you say, I would not be eating popcorn and cotton candy in church. <laughs> but you know what? We can do that here. Because I believe coming into God's presence at, in the right place in the right time can be fun. Anybody know where we are in the Christian season? We're still in the Easter season, right? So think about this. Not say growing up, uh, I, I didn't follow any sort of uh, Christian calendar or, or, or process like that. But I've grown to really value from that. Think about this. Uh, growing up, you know, I, like a lot of good church kids, right? We, we dye Easter eggs and you go find them and then you talk about new life and how bunny rabbits and eggs and all that, whatever it is. So, uh, but, but then it kind of moves on. Easter, the Jesus story, right? Resurrection. He really rose from the dead and that's a serious point. Then we just kind of move on. What if we stayed around in the Easter story for a few weeks and recognized that God really did rise from the dead and he walked in, in an entirely new way. He was born at Christmas time, and he walked his flesh and blood, and he walked and he talked and he laughed and he, he gave a hard time to those 12 guys, and, and they, he, he discipled them and, and, and he challenged them uh, to go on in their faith and to share the good news of what he taught, and then he died. But it didn't stop there. He rose again. Now, he looked the same. They could look and say, I'm, you're Jesus. But that same Jesus they knew in his physical form could now walk through walls. And we looked at that last week. He walked through. It, it was an entirely different form in the way God revealed himself and walked on this earth. As we look at the scripture today, we're going to look at a scripture that, that speaks about what does resurrection mean in the way we treat others, in the way we love others, in our love and our action. 
that you can't really say you follow Christ if your actions don't demonstrate the love that he showed, that he showed us. Love one another, even when love involves risk. Love and care for others, even when caring is hard. Love and truth and action. And I know here it's talking about finances, but I don't believe financially is exactly the point. Man, just look around. Do you have all that you need that God's provided everything you have to be well? And, and look around. There's always something you can do, whether it's your family, a stranger, the community at large, the community of faith that you participate in, in which you can give love. Giving. Just, just saying, it's, it's sometimes it's just giving. What is something you can give? Your time, being available. Financially, sure. Dollywood's a great, I mean, you think about time in Dollywood. That, that's what this place, it's, it's about being together. It's about creating those memories. It's about hugging those next to you. Maybe if you go and give an encouraging word to someone that's frustrated in their day. You see where I'm going with that? And I believe that's where John is speaking to us. That love is love has to be in and through us. John continues as he's writing to emphasize that, that love is so much more than, than just words and action. And he says that we must not love with words or speech, but, but with action. That, that's love, with action. It's, e it's real easy to say, you know, hey, I, I'm thinking about you. I love you and I'm praying for you. And we should. We should say that's encouraging, it's uplifting, and I, I hope and uh, really pray that you are saying a prayer, a blessing over those individuals, you see, maybe a family or a stranger. When he spoke, there was power. When he spoke, there was love. But then beyond the words, his gestures. Right, and we were, I was just talking with some friends this morning, and we were talking about different ways Jesus communicated with those around him, and, and, and at one chance when uh, he was speaking with, with a woman. They're about to stone this woman and, and uh, against their, their cultural system, you know, that this lady had committed a great grievous sin and a great shame. And so they were ready to throw rocks at her and Jesus had every right to do the same, but yet he, he sits next to her instead. I think that he's sitting down in the dirt with her as the story tells us and he's drawing in the dirt, right? And those with the rocks are walking away and Jesus only words to her, neither do I condemn you. He had every reason say change your life get out of here do different you know better than that and he said i don't can do that. so he spoke with words but the fact that i think the image that's there is he didn't just stand up here and say i don't condemn you he's sitting on the dirt right i'm probably dirty my pants there right but he's sitting there and he's scribbling in the dirt is what scriptures tell us he got down on her level and he says i'm with you i know it's a struggle and i'm going to be with you to the end Jesus always put action to his love, to his words. And it's hard for us sometimes, right? Especially those that are closest to us. It's so hard to daily demonstrate those actions of love. Now, Dollywood gives us great opportunity to do that. Whether, again, it's sharing the food together or, or watching an entertainment show and just, just taking the arts and the creativity you take in the beautiful spring, suck down the pollen, and enjoy the world that God created. But it challenges us to daily, to continually rub our eyes, right? This, the image I always have is, is you got to rub your eyes because God is here, right? We, we don't just say, I, I, I sure hope God shows up. It's Sunday. I hope God shows up. But we're going to chapel, and I hope we find God there. God is here. Our faith tells us that God is walking with us. That the, the wonderful expression and experience we have this side of the cross is that we have the Holy Spirit. The scriptures tell us that the Spirit came down and filled the believers. And Jesus said, I'm going to leave so that something even better will happen. Right? We have it better than, 
than the disciples. Um, almost, right? I don't know. Walking with Jesus is pretty good. But the same spirit that lived in Jesus now abides in us. Your challenge here is to go this day and thank God that he fills us with the ability, with his presence, and enables us to see people for who God has, for who he's made them to be. And in doing so, we're able to love them as he loves. Give God thanks that he fills us today like he never has before. His presence is with us and it goes with us, even here in our fun and our play. May the presence of God be with you. Now go with your trust in the Good Shepherd and let us love not just in words but in truth and action. Believe in the name of Jesus Christ and love one another just as he commands us. And may God be at your side even in the valleys of death. May Christ Jesus be the cornerstone of your life. And may the Holy Spirit abide in you and tend to you with love and mercy all the days of your life. May you go in peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, y'all, so that finished up the little bit of the church service. I would share a little bit of it and wanted to show you inside the church as well. Like I said, they were doing it inside normally, but um, now they have changed to outside service. So um, if you're here at Dollywood on a Sunday, be sure and check out their church service. Um, we really enjoyed it. It was my first time doing it, and um, yeah, I did enjoy it. So um, thanks for joining us on this one, and we will see you guys later. Bye.